Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, yesterday I just picked up this, I think it's a 1986 Honda Spree. This model has the kickstart, so that's good. And it's got electric start. 2,000 miles on it. So the guy I bought it from said he had it about a year and um, he never had it running, but uh, he said when he tried to get it running, it was hydro locking and oil from the crankcase was filling up in the cylinder. Um, but this being a two stroke, I'm not sure if that's even possible because I think you, I don't even know if, I think that's only on like a four stroke and stuff, but Let's see if it has any gas in it. got some gas in it I'm not sure how clean that is supposedly it's a new battery we can check on that ooh tank is dry that's the oil tank right there so that's not good um, yeah supposedly that's good and I get this back plastic off we got Two 10 millimeters there. Two right there. I think you can leave the seat attached. Um, and you got that one and this one right here. Um, I think somebody's been in there before us because you can see, I think it's missing that one right there. And then also one missing right there. So I think the previous guy was trying to work on this, but I guess he couldn't fix it. Definitely pretty dirty. Uh, it looks like they blocked off this. Um, I think that would be the oil pump right there, and it looks like they blocked off those lines. That's why the um, oil container was uh, empty. Um, so, I'm not sure if that gas that was in it is two stroke or not. Really want to drain that. That's one thing that it could have been. He he might have stuck uh, just gas in it, and then it could have overheated the engine. Jeez, that wasn't even that wasn't even tight. Okay, well, maybe we will, um, we could check it for spark, and then if it's got spark, put a little fuel down it and see if it starts up. Okay, let's see if this thing has spark, put it in on, run, and then I'm going to kick it. You get up close and hold the plug right there. See if we see anything. Spark. Is it good? Yep. Looks like we gotta clean off the. Good. Sweet. So we got spark. So I think I'm gonna put a little two-stroke gas down. Down the plug. Should be enough.
put this plug back in, see if it starts up. See what happens. Oh. Well, it started for a second. I th think we might try to get some of this stuff out of our way. Just so we can try to figure out what's going on. Oh, shit. Check this out. Wow. This is the um, air cleaner. And look at that. There's a bunch of water down in there. So... I'm guessing that water got kind of down and in the cylinder. Jeez. To get this plastic off, I think we gotta take off. It's connected to this fender, so we gotta take off all of these. Okay, with that out of the way, we have a little bit more room to look around. When I pulled that air cleaner off, some water was coming out of here, you can see. So that's not good. Um, I think we're gonna get those two pulled off, eight millimeters, get that carb off. We can kind of look down in the intake, um, check the raid valves, and then get this plastic off also. This carburetor is so dirty. I don't think it's been cleaned and well, I don't think it's ever been cleaned. carb so it's the original carb but that thing definitely needs to be clean you can see water is coming out of it so I'm sure we're gonna have a nice surprise in the float ball okay now let's see if we can get this plastic off looks like a couple bolts there
Okay, so that's got some oil on it. Um, those roots don't look that bad. You can see that one's a little bit pointed up. Small gap, but that shouldn't be too bad for getting it to run. But I do have, um, I do have a new set of reeds for it, so I could put that in. So you can see, uh, it's definitely got some lines on it, some scarring, I guess. But I mean, not too bad. Well, you see those up and down lines, you don't really want those, but I mean, I think it'll probably run Hopefully, we never did check the compression. I should have checked that before we took this stuff off, but I don't feel any major scratches, so I think we're fine. You can see it's probably been, it was probably sitting up here on the top, which is why it's got that ring. Although that almost looks like it's like a brass ring. Maybe that's just how the head is on these, not sure. Actually, just spin it. Yeah, so I don't think that looks too bad. I think uh, that should run. Okay, let's get into this carb and see how it looks. I'm expecting it to be pretty bad. Pop loose. There we go. Oh, jeez. Look at that. Straight oil. At least, um, actually, that's kind of oil and gas, but it, I think what happened was it's been sitting for so long that it kind of just turned into. Jeez. I think all of the oil kind of goes to the bottom when it's been sitting a long time. Cause you can smell super like that nasty varnish oil, um, gas in there. But I think I might go get some gloves on. I hate getting that nasty gas on my hands. See, so what this thing does is that it'll, it'll come in and out. So when you start the bike, when you start it, and this has power to it, it will go in. And then right when you turn the key off, it'll push out and then block the hole so no more fuel comes in. So that's kind of cool. Let's 
stick these guys in. I think that's it. I'll make sure this floats. Okay, we'll just let that soak for a little bit and uh, move on to some other things. Okay, we're gonna put these new reeds in. These don't look too bad, the ones that were on it, but might as well put them in if we got extra, so. And see, you can tell these are the originals because they're um, metal and the replacements. They started making them, uh, started making them carbon fiber, I guess that is or plastic just so that if they break off um metal ones would hurt the engine but could honestly just flip these over but um i think we're gonna put the new ones on Okay, I just went ahead and got that carb back on. Um, and it's nice and clean. So now we're just gonna get this gas out. I don't really wanna pull the tank. So I'm just gonna use this little thing. Let's see, in and out. Whoops. Whoa. Yeah, see that stuff looks yellow. So that's good that we're getting this cleaned out. Okay, got the old stuff out. New fuel line. Tank looks super clean inside. that stuff is right there oh well but tank looks super nice inside so we're gonna put some fresh stuff in Should be good enough for now. A little bit of fuel. I kind of missed it. Let's see what happens. 
Okay, we basically just want it to start for a second so that we get some fuel flow. Where it's like this Kickstarter gets stuck or something. Maybe that's the problem that he was running into. Oh, I forgot to put this shock up. <laughs> Let me get that shock put back on. See, that looks pretty rusty, so I bet we could clean that up a little bit inside. Ah, shoot. Different size. I don't have that size polar, mine's bigger. Okay, even though I can't get in there, um, there's like a little thing down here that when it hits this magnet right here, it tells the bike when to fire. And you can see that's all rusted. So maybe I can clean that up a little bit. See if that improves it any any bit. Okay, let's see if that helped it at all. I don't think it did, but oh Check it out. That pipe must just be filled with oil and stuff. That must be why it was kind of hydro locking when I was picking it and stuff. What's the chances it starts for a second time? That's a lot of oil though. Jeez. 
Yeah, I might pull that pipe off and we can um, try to drain it. And Okay, welcome back. It's the next day and it's awfully rainy out today, but I uh, had the pipe sitting upside down all night. Let's see if anything came out. Nah, teensy bit, but not too much. So I think we might just try to get this pipe back on, let it run, and hopefully it will kind of blow out all the oil that's still in the pipe. I was just looking at this uh, coil and I noticed that these connections, that's like electrical tape. So this is kind of a jinxy connection and you can see it's kind of dirty inside. That one looks fine, but I think we might redo this connection. And then I just went ahead and cleaned these terminals just so that we get a super nice spark. Okay, let's see if this thing starts up. Uh, it doesn't want to get gas. So, it seems like it might not be getting fuel or something. So, I might pull this carb back off down here. And also, I never did check this. Uh, I think it's called the bi starter. It's that little solenoid I was talking about that will cut off the fuel. Maybe that's not working. And so, when I put the bike on on position, um, it's not disengaging and so it's not allowing fuel to come in maybe um and so maybe the bike's only running off the fuel that's in the carb and then and then it's just stopping after that so i might pull that off again and uh make sure everything's cleaned good we'll see if that fixes it Can't get in there, I don't think. I was just curious what would happen if we uh, try to start this thing without that little buy starter thing. But I think this has got to be closed, so I think what I'm going to do... Maybe stick a glove kind of down and in there and then, oops. We can stick this over it to hold it down. Something like that. I mean, obviously I could just test the buy starter, but this is kind of more fun. Let's see if this works. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see if that does the trick. You can see that uh, that by starter. We still have it plugged in, and it's it never. It's supposed to kind of contract, and it never did. So just by plugging that off right there, it's allowing the fuel to keep on running. And look at that; it's running great. Awesome. Well, I can just order up a new one of those. It's probably only like 10 bucks, so. Um, I mean, it's pretty rainy out, but I guess we could go for a ride. I will um, just uh, get these plastics back on, wash it up a little bit, and let's go for a ride. Okay, we're gonna just drain this gearbox oil. Um, you fill it and you drain it in the same hole. And this has probably never been changed before. But you do that and then you just gotta tip the bike over. Oh yeah, look at that. That's hasn't been changed in a long time. Okay, I think more oil came out of the exhaust pipe than it did out of this transmission, but so this is what I'm using for you gotta fill it in this little hole right here. And it's such a small thing that you you kinda gotta go from your funnel to just I don't know what size pipe this is and then keep on going down till you get a small enough thing and then um, you can just use just conventional 1030 oil works just fine you just stick that in the um, front brake seems a little bit loose Back one feels good. So we're just gonna give this a couple turns. See. Still pretty loose. There we go, that feels good. Let's give this thing a quick little bath. This thing cleaned up pretty nice. Seems to be running smooth. I still gotta get that little buy starter, but. Exhaust pipe looks like it cleaned up. Still blowing out a little bit of smoke and oil, but. Thing was pretty dirty when we got it got it dialed in let's take it out for a spin
Okay, well that was a success. Um, I think it was just smoking all that because there's still some oil in the pipe. And then it also didn't really want to take off when, didn't want to take off from a start, which I think is that little buy starter, but I'm gonna buy a new one of those. Get that put on, that should fix that problem. Um, I guess the last thing we should see is if this uh, electric start works. Now that it's been running for a second. Nope, it's clicking still, so. Um, that starter is probably bad. So I think this is gonna do it for this one. Um, thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to help the channel out. And we'll see you guys on the next one.